For the past three years, Providence St. Vincent Medical Center has been honored as a top 50 hospital in the country when it comes to patient care and outcomes. Joining us today are Dr. Elizabeth Paxton, Chief Nursing Officer at Providence St. Vincent, and Alexia Afzali, Nurse Manager of the Emergency Department at St. Vincent. Welcome to you both. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Okay, so the nursing program at St. Vincent recently got a, an incredible honor. It's the sixth consecutive magnet uh, designation. So Dr. Paxton, tell us what that means exactly. So magnet it is an internationally recognized award that um, recognizes nursing excellence. We have to reapply every four years, and so we're one of only 12 hospitals in the world that have wow. achieved this honor. Mm -hmm. So we're very, very proud of our nurses for achieving this accolade. Yeah, um, and so what is, how does that translate to patient care? What are the benefits to patients? So um, through uh, nursing excellence, we have to, um, do innovation and research. And so that really translates to top quality patient care um, through quality, safety, and um, patient outcomes. And it makes our patients um, have top quality um, satisfaction and it's something that our nurses do every day. It is really just who we are and what we do. Yeah, and I understand, Alexia, that this is a second career for you. That's right. Your first career was in education? Yeah, I was a middle school teacher oh. before I became a nurse. <laughs> um, but I Two of the hardest jobs <laughs> probably ever. Yep. You're just always working with your hair on fire. That's right. Um, but I always wanted to be a nurse. I was a candy striper at a Providence little company in Marion Torrance uh, back in high school and then you know, I actually chose my college for nursing, but you know, life, you know, life happens. Life happens, yeah. And uh, I had an, ended up in education. Um, I did get burnt out in teaching and I was looking for an, another career and I went back to my dream of becoming a nurse. Um, I, I, in order to see if I wanted to do the job, I uh, became a certified nurse's assistant and I worked nights while well, I went to school at PCC in the day, sleepless nights, and then um, uh, I had an opportunity to do senior work in our ER at Providence St. Vincent's. Uh, I fell in love with the team, I fell in love with the, that kind of patient care, and I've been there almost nine years. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and from what I understand, there is a nationwide nursing shortage. So what is Providence doing to attract and, and retain nurses? Absolutely. So Magnet really helps. Um, nurses learn about the Magnet program when they're in nursing school. Um, we do have a high baccalaureate um, program um, because Magnet does attract baccalaureate nurses. Um, we do retain our nurses, one with tuition reimbursement, like Alex used. She used tuition dollars while she was in school. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have a high certification rate. Nurses like to continue their education, so we pay for that, um, as well as other educational programs. Yeah. So it's good for nurses to continue their education yes. and learn more. Yes, of course. And you also started an in-house training program, mm -hmm. so that we gives did. people without a medical background an opportunity for this career path, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So um, when Alex was in school, she had to pay her own way. And so what we did, we started what's called Earn to Learn. So somebody who's not been in the medical field before, we pay for them to become a certified nursing assistant. And so they um, go to school, we pay for that. And then that um, is a springboard for them to carry on to any other medical career that they would like, whether it's respiratory therapy, nursing, um, and so they can then use other tuition reimbursement dollars to continue that forward. And we started our first cohort in September and hope to offer that program quarterly. Nice. Um, and I understand a requirement of the magnet is that nurses are members of a hospital-wide decision-making committee. Mm -hmm. um, and you came up with an idea that actually changed the way things were done in the emergency department. Do you That's want to right, about yeah. That? So. Uh, uh, just over a year ago, actually, we started something called vertical care. And uh, what we were noticing is we had these higher volumes of patients coming into the emergency room. And in the emergency room, it's not first come, first serve. People go back by how ill they are. The sickest patients get the beds first. And so our patients that were coming in with things like sprained ankles or cuts that required uh, uh, stitches or abdominal pain, they were waiting for hours and hours and hours. And we're like, how are we going to serve our, this community. So we decided to basically build um, an urgent care that had more resources for these folks so that we could address their needs in a timely manner. Yeah, wow. Well, yeah. it's great work you're both doing. I'm, I'm so happy you were here to share it with us. And in addition to Providence St. Vincent Medical Center, Providence has seven other award-winning hospitals in Oregon. You can learn more about care at providence.org slash services slash hospitals. Again, thank you both so much. We thank really you for having us. Thank you for having us. All right, we'll be right back with more Hello, Rose City.